What's up guys, it's Justine, and today we're checking out the new smart battery cases that Apple announced, and this kind of caught me off guard actually, because I really didn't expect this. It's not that surprising because they've had these in the past, but the fact that they have this for the iPhone XS Max is kind of crazy because this is huge. I've seen a bunch of memes online talking about how thick these cases are, but the reason that I'm mostly surprised by this is this is something that I absolutely do not need at all. Like, I don't need this. If you have an iPhone XS Max or even the XS, I get such incredible battery life with this, and I'm on my phone constantly. All that being said, I really don't ever leave the house without having Having an external battery charger with me because there is always that small voice in the back of my mind that says, what if your phone dies? What if somebody else's phone dies? So I kind of always like to be very, very prepared. I also always have a ton of other gadgets with me. So it is nice to have a battery pack that will be able to charge like my GoPro or my camera. But that's not what this video is about. This video is about these guys and checking them out because I wanted to see for myself what they looked like, what a day would look like using this, would it kind of put my mind at a little bit more ease because with this extra extra added battery, I feel like I probably would really not even think about it at all. It'll just extend this already really great battery life that I've had with this so far even further. These are pretty expensive. I've really never had any of the other smart cases in the past, but this is $130 for just one. With that, you could definitely buy an external battery charger that would charge multiple devices. So really, I guess it depends. Do you want to have this battery built in or do you want to have something that you could just have sometimes? Well, that was a really uneventful unboxing. <laughs> Here's the white one. Holy crap, this thing is huge. <laughs> this is massive. Get out of your home. Wow. That's, that's thick. And there we go. That's unboxing number two. All right. I'm glad they give these instructions on how to install it because I don't know, I don't think it's something I'd be able to figure out. Maybe you have questions. I don't know. How many milliamps are you giving us? I'm trying to read it. God, I'm so old, I can't freaking see. 1369 milliamps, that's actually really, that's not very much. Like you can get a tiny little Mophie, like the Mophie has these new Mophie minis that are 10,000 milliamps that are like super small. Okay, well, here we go. This for traveling is probably what I would mostly use this for because when I am on a plane, it's kind of annoying to have to actually charge your phone. But this is definitely an option. It is thick. It is significantly heavier than I thought that it would be. So the smart case did not come already charged. And you'd think that I would have 500 cables laying around here. You would think, one would think. So one of the things that I do like is you'll be able to see what the charge is on the smart case and on your phone, kind of like your AirPods. It sort of lives all in that little ecosystem. I just think that if you do have one of these phones, the battery life, it's just, I don't think that this is entirely necessary. But if you are the kind of person who doesn't want to have to carry around an external battery, who doesn't have access to a charger throughout the day, this could easily be something for you. And honestly, I'm such a huge fan of Apple cases. Like I love these silicon cases. But the bad part about those is this sometimes happens. I am very aggressive with my phones. That is not new information, so this sometimes happens. I love like the felt interior, and there has not been another case that I've found that I really have liked. These have just been my favorite cases since the beginning. Now these definitely don't protect as well as some of the other like super protective cases. I know I've done drop tests, with like the Tech 21 cases before. And like those actually do protect your phones. Like those things are so crazy and aggressive that it is like your phone is inside of a tank. But if you do want something lightweight and you want obviously an Apple logo on it, these are my favorite. Not a big fan of the leather ones. I do like the leather look, but I feel like again, I'm so abusive and they are a little bit more expensive. Leather and I just sometimes don't get along very well. <laughs> I spill things on it and that's definitely not something that is covered under Apple's warranty. So. I just definitely prefer these. So yeah, I guess back to these cases, I would love to know what you guys think because this is definitely, it's, I mean, it's massive. I mean, this phone itself is massive. And most of the times when I'm using a phone, like I actually do prefer using my tennis. And yeah, I know. Just saying, do you need to have two iPhones? Obviously not. I'm just, I'm crazy. Now, how do I get you out of here? That was something that was not covered in the documentation. Hey, do you wanna, do you wanna come out to play? I guess I'll start charging this one. How the heck do I get you out? Oh, there we go. That wasn't that bad. Let's see what you look like in here. God, the gold is just incredible. 
I forgot how beautiful this phone is because it's always covered in a case. Oh, something else that I noticed is right there. There's a little light to show you that it is charging. So that's cool. Get in there. So I'm going to be traveling here pretty soon. So I think that this is probably what I'll go for. I'll go, I think I'll go for this look. This is a nice look. So I think that this is the one that I'm probably going to go with. But I do really like this white case a lot. This looks really nice. So really to sum up, like I said, I don't entirely think that this is necessary, but if you are a fan of battery packs, I just love the look of this one. I would love to know what you guys think in the comments below. And what is one thing that you wish that Apple would make as an accessory for your iPhone? Like it can be anything. Like, do you want to have a selfie flying drone case? Like let's think super, super crazy. I will see you guys in my next video. Also let me know if there's any other things that you would like me to cover here and I will see you in my next video. So bye. Thank you.